Today I'm going to be showing how you can use Adobe Substance Painter to paint together a seam between two disparate textures. In this example, we are going to be using Leliana from Dragon Age, who has been put on a different body. I'm not going to be covering getting the skin tones to match, that is an entirely different subject. We are focusing just on the texture seam itself, which you can clearly see right here. And what we're going to be focusing on is using Substance Painter to blend that together. Before we launch into Substance Painter, there is a little bit of work we have to do to properly prepare the model for Substance Painting. This can be done in any 3D modeling program, such as Blender. I am using 3ds Max, but I will provide the keywords so that you can find your program's equivalent to what it is called in 3ds Max. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to select her head material, and we're going to apply an Unwrap UVW, Open UV Editor, and we are going to have everything which is selected by default, and we're going to move it over one UV tile. So now if you were to open up the UDIMS, you will see that you are now on U2 V1. For uh, Substance Painter, it is very important that each texture is on its own separate UDIM. That is U-D-I-M. That is what you will be Googling. Now we are going to do the same thing to her neck texture. Now very technically, since this is on U1V1, we could just leave it alone, but for the sake of the tutorial, we are going to move this over two on the U's. So now it is U3V1 and her head is U2V1. They are two separate u -dams. We are now going to make a copy of this model so that we don't mess up the original. I am going to name it underscore subpaint. You can name it whatever you want. This is my personal naming convention. We're going to hide the original so we don't mess it up. So now we're going to delete everything that we are not going to be substance painting. So I'm going to select her head material and her neck material and hide them both. Then I'm going to select everything else, unhide and delete. This will delete everything that is not what we are substance painting. We are also going to hide her hair because we don't need that. Now Substance Painter requires everything to be on the same material, so we are going to move both of these to a different material. Her head is material 12, and her neck is material 9. We are just going to move both of them to material 1. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's an arm material. That does not matter. It is just for exporting that we need to do this. So now we are going to save. And then we are going to export selected. We are going to be exporting as an OBJ in 3ds Max. It is the GW OBJ exporter. We're going to be exporting to our work folder and we are just going to name it subpaint. Uh, default settings will work fine. And we are done with the prep work for substance painting. Now we bring up a fresh session of Adobe Substance Painter. We are going to bring up a new for this, I'm going to be painting them both in 4K. So I'm going to select 4096. We are using a non-PBR workflow, the sp specular glossiness. If you're using a, a PBR workflow or whatever, you can choose whatever you want. I'm using non-PBR. I'm going to use the UV tile workflow and preserve the layout and everything else is default. Then we come over here and we select and we go to our working folder and we import that OBJ that we just exported and we hit OK. There's our mesh right here and you can see over on the right hand side that we have two separate UV tiles, which is exactly what we want. Now we are going to go to File, Import Resources, Add Resources, and we're going to bring in her head and neck normal and diffuse maps. Do note that Targa and DDS and any file format that has an alpha channel will not work correctly in Substance Painter. You will ideally want to be working with PNGs for painting purposes. So I went ahead and I converted all of these to PNGs ahead of time for this video. So we will open all of these. We will select them and send them all to texture and then import to the current session. And now they are all right here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a fill layer, the paint bucket. We're going to scroll down and we are going to drop the neck onto the diffuse and you'll see that it loads the neck onto both uh, the head and the diffuse. To change that, we come over and we click this box right here and we're just going to uncheck one of these, whichever one is not what we want. In this case, that was that one. 
We're going to add another paint layer. We're going to drag the head texture onto the diffuse. And we're going to do the, uh, the same thing. We're going to turn that off. And now we can go ahead and we can add a layer on top. We are going to change it to pass through. That is very important, changing it to pass through. And then we are going to change it just to the diffuse view. And we can see we now have the texture set up properly. Now we are going to do the actual uh, texture painting. So we're going to zoom in rather close here to the neck. I'm going to come over to the clone stamp and I'm going to set the size to 25. That's just what I like to start with. Using the clone stamp in Substance Painter is a bit different from Adobe Photoshop. You will want to hold down V and click where you want to sample from and then release V and then click where you want to paint to. So we're just going to go around and substance paint from the neck onto the body. I'm just going to do a up close one first and then I'm going to do a second pass which is larger to get a smoother gradient. And now for the second pass I'm going to zoom out a bit and I'm just going to do larger stamps to smooth it over. And there is our paint. So now we need to export it out and get it back onto our model itself. So we will come over to File, Export Textures. We're going to select the specific material and uncheck everything but the diffuse. Come back to Global Settings. We're going to set this to Dilation plus Transparent with a 16 point. We're going to change the output directory to our working folder. And then I'm going to make a subfolder within it. So I will name this underscore out and we'll pick that and then we are going to export wait for this to do its thing and now we're going to come over to Photoshop and here we have the original textures imported we are going to go to open we are going to open those two textures that were exported you will see that they are both square, which in this case does not work because this needs to be a rectangle, but the face will work just fine. We're going to downsample to the base texture, which is 2048. So I'm going to downsize this to 2048, preserving details and not reducing noise. I'm going to copy that and paste it over here. And then we're going to select all of this black. We are going to expand two points and then delete. And that keeps the original face texture. We will save this as a PSD so we don't overwrite the original. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to grab this new neck texture, bring it over to the old one. And then because we need to make this rectangle, we are going to transform and we're just going to scale it that way. And then we're going to do the same thing, select all of the black, expand by two points, and delete. And then we will save this also as a PSD. And now we come back to our modeling program of choice. We can now delete our sub paint. We can bring up the original model. And you can see that we still have the next seam right now because we haven't loaded in the new textures. We will go ahead and load in the new textures. So for the neck, rather than this old PNG, we are going to instead load in that Photoshop file. And then we are going to do the same thing for her head. So rather than this old PNG, we're going to load in the new Photoshop file. And we can see that the neck is now properly blended. With the diffuse textures blended, we are not quite done. We also need to quickly blend the normal maps. So we will come back to uh, Substance Painter, and then we will select our neck layer right here. Select this uh, sphere right here to be changed into diffuse, and then we're going to swap over from the diffuse to the normal map. And then we are going to select the head layer and swap in its normal map. And you will see that Substance Painter automatically has it blended for us, so we don't need to worry about it. In this particular case, the normal map is a slightly different color for the head than what it should be. We're going to ignore that. The important thing here for this video is the fact that it is properly textured. In fact, I could turn this off. 
And you can even see the Simpsons Painter saves the painting on a per layer basis rather than per texture. So then you would just repeat the process. You would export these out and then bring them in and replace them and then do whatever you need to do. And that's it. That's all there is. It takes 15 minutes to do less than if you're not like me and constantly mucking things up while recording the video. You could probably get this done in five minutes if you know what you're doing. It's that easy. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, everyone.